Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Yep, that's out. Yep, that's out. Oh, that one's doing okay. Yeah. Uh, let's try this one. That one's kind of doing okay, but the problem is, is that oh, I, I'm, I'm testing my batteries here. It's a simple little battery checker that runs on a battery, of all things. Uh, I simply slide the battery in, make contact on both ends, and uh, then I can tell how much charge is left in the battery. Well, these four batteries, they're still working, but the problem is is, is that they're all holding a different, uh, I guess, uh, amounts of juice inside right now. Uh, so I could recharge them all in using a, a, one of the charging units that I have lying around. They're rechargeables. Of course, you couldn't really try to recharge a battery that wasn't designed to be rechargeable. You really wouldn't get very far. Well, I found uh, this particular piece of hardware the other day, a battery recharger, but not just any battery recharger. This is from lacrossetechnology.com. I bought it just to see if it really would work because this, the reason why I got it is specifically because of this feature, um, automatically switching to trickle charge at the end of charging to ensure maximum battery capacity, and then overheat detection to protect overcharging in the batteries, charging both AA's and AAA's at the same time, which of course I do need to do. Uh, it also works with uh, NICADs or nickel metal hydrides. Uh, it's got a, a great little readout display. Each like There's four uh, parts of the display for each of the four batteries that you might plug in. Um, or I guess, yeah, plug in. Just kind of drag and drop right in there. Not software, but hardware. Uh, they mention here charge mode. Within four seconds, charging automatically begins. Uh, or select different settings uh, for faster charging times. There's also a discharge mode, which reduces memory effect on rechargeable batteries by discharging completely, then recharging to full capacity in one cycle. Um, there's a refresh mode. There's different modes of charging rather than just plugging it in and just hoping. Uh, more than anything uh, from this, I, I'm hoping to see if it really does work and work, work well, uh, you know, going through a, a discharge mode or really a, a full mode that would just push the battery uh, to its fullest capacity and, and still treating it like a good battery should be treated. You, who's a good battery? Who's a good ba you a good battery? Yes, you are. Yes, you are, but you're rechargeable. You're so positive. Unless, of course, I'm looking at the negative end of a battery. Then it's not so positive. No matter. If nothing else, then at least you know you can pick up one of these little jobbies. Uh, it, these things are great to have. Very, very lightweight. Uh, they'll work with just about any battery. Yeah, it looks like tri AAA, AA, N... Really, there's an N battery, C's, D's. Uh, it'll it'll check uh, if it, if the uh, the amount of juice in there is good, weak, or poor. Juice, of course, is not a technical term, but I think you know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about battery juice. I mean, you're not gonna uh, 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 and it's not you. You don't want to drink battery juice. That's stupid. So am I. But maybe you've got some battery charging tips or just battery tips in general. Feel free to pass them along. My email address is chris at perillo.com. And you can find me hanging out with the rest of these geeks here in the chat room. We're typically talking tech, software, hardware, internet stuff, tips, tricks, whatever. We're just interested in technology. Maybe you are too. So if you are, why don't you stop on by? I'm streaming this video out live 24 hours a day, 7 days a week in conjunction with this chat room at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.